What's up guys, Fubsy here, and I am recording another daily, and it's been so long that I've missed you guys so much. Um, I have been preparing a lot for two big events happening, going to the Star City Vegas this weekend. I have a Legacy and a Standard deck, and I'm really happy with both of my decks. Um, today is Monday, December 3rd, and I think I have both of my decks just about done. There might be a couple of sideboard slots, or, you know, maybe I got 73 or 72 of my 75, but I'm really happy with where they are, um, and I'm going to do subsequent dailies about my decks, so uh, I hope you like them. But for now, what I want to talk about was actually, um, oh, I guess the other event that I'm preparing for is the Utah Invitational, which if you guys don't know about that yet, go to utahmagicopen.com and uh, check it out. Utah is holding this huge Invitational tournament. We've been having qualifier tournaments for the past couple of months at all the different stores around the valley. Um where we are, uh, like the winners are qualifying for this big tournament, there's cash prizes, one thousand dollars and uh, it's going to be awesome, it's going to be awesome, and so I'll be preparing for that, I'll be doing live coverage for that, so I can't wait, uh, it's going to be sweet, but uh, yeah, so for now, what I wanted to do is actually not talk about, I was going to talk about my deck tonight, but I'm going to do it tomorrow, um, and instead tonight I want to talk about something that's kind of been going around the community the past couple days, and this is that article by Owen Turnwald called Trigger Troubles. So now, um, I'm not going to talk too much about, oh, I, probably, I might, I always say I'm not going to talk too much, and then I always talk for like, you know, 45 minutes, so, um, so here's, here's what happens, right? So, you should read the article, first of all. All those links down below in the comments, read all those articles. All of them. Um, but the idea is, Owen Turnwald is playing in a Grand Prix. It's day two. Um, his opponent has a Pyreheart Wolf in play, and uh, Owen has a uh, Augur Bulldoze. The Pyreheart Wolf attacks. The player attacks. He goes, declare attackers, attack with the Pyreheart Wolf. Owen waits, and then blocks with his Augur Bulldoze. Now, here, a judge is called. Right now, the reason is because the player one, the player with the power heart wolf, says, "Well, you can't. My power wolf can only be blocked, you know, as long as it's attacking whatever. Um, it can only be blocked by uh, more than one creature, two or more creatures." And Owen says, "No. Well, you missed the trigger. You know, I gave you. Oh, sorry, guys, that's loud. Sorry, I closed that door. Okay, so uh, Owen says, "Nope. Give you time. You didn't match your trigger. We're now on blockers. It's too late for the trigger, so it didn't happen." Now. Owen goes on in his article to talk about how he doesn't like that that's how the rules are, but that's how they are, and so he played by the rules. And a lot of people, they didn't like that for some reason. They talked about the spirit of the game, um, and I just wanted to, re to reference that for the most part. So you should read his article to understand his position, right? As far as the rules go, guys, the rules are very simple. So let me let me tell them to you. So... A triggered ability triggers. So this is the mistrigger violation. It says a triggered ability triggers, but the player controlling the ability doesn't demonstrate awareness of the trigger's existence and or forgets to announce its effect. If a triggered ability has been partially or incorrectly resolved, instead treat it as a gameplay error. Okay, so the second half we don't care about. So the, the, the problem, so here's what happens. If a player does not demonstrate awareness of the trigger's existence and or forgets to announce its effect. They give some examples, right? So they talk about playing Attended Knight or play Huntmaster, right? And if you play the card and then like reach for your deck box and say go and you know put the... That's okay because you're demonstrating awareness. You know the trigger has happened. But if you play Huntmaster, go. Right? And your opponent goes, okay, on tap. And then you're like, oh, and you know, gain two life. You're too far gone now, right? Let me read you the second part of the rules. A trigger is considered missed once the controller of the trigger has taken an action after the point at which a trigger should have resolved. Or, in the case of a trigger controlled by the non-active player, after that player has taken an action that indicates they have actively passed priority. Okay, so now listen. So that means, if you say, Huntmaster, go, game led to life. That's the wrong order. You can't do that. Right? You've taken an action by saying, go, you are now past where the trigger should have resolved. Trigger should have resolved here, you're here. It's too late. It's too far gone. Now, if you don't like that, right? If, if, you, if you say, that's lame, Fuzzy. I hate that. That goes against what I think magic is all about. Well, that's nice. That's great. And if you're playing in f &M, or if you're playing at your kitchen table, or if you're playing somewhere like that, right? It doesn't matter. Th these rules don't apply to you guys. But at a competitive tournament or a professional level tournament, 
right? That's Grand Prix, Grand Prix Trials, PTQs, Pro Tours. Uh, Star City events are also run at, profession at competitive. Um, that's how the rules are. If you don't like that, okay, I'm sorry you don't like it. I really am. But, and, and hopefully we can get it changed because some of the parts, part of the rules are pretty dumb, right? But, but, but that's what they are. And for people to rag on Owen, so Owen followed the rules. He said, okay, we have moved past the point. Power Heart Wolf triggers when you declare attackers. We are now in declare blockers. I gave you a space. He didn't announce anything. We're in declare blockers. You missed your trigger. The end. That's it. You missed it. The, the, the judge, the head judge, agreed with that. Well, he didn't agree with Owen. He ruled. That was the ruling the head judge made. Was the same. Was that you missed the trigger. It's too late. You can't go back. Because that's how triggers work. If you miss the trigger, you don't go back. Right? It's up to your opponent. The, 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 and that's a whole different thing, right? But um, but basically, that's the problem. That, that's what happens, right? Triggered abilities, you have to demonstrate awareness of your trigger. And if you don't, you miss it in a competitive or professional RL tournament. Now, if your opponent wants to, he could put that trigger on the stack. Within a turn, that's what the judges offer, and usually they say no. But um, Now, one place where this gets very confusing are things like you know, I don't want to go into the dark confidant stuff and whether or not that's beneficial. Um, but but it's tough. Um, but I want to talk about the triggers. And I want to talk... And, and, and what gets me is that people... They don't understand. They don't understand the level of... We have so many... Okay, I'm, I'm just going to give an example. I'm sorry if I'm offending you. But the Reddit post. There's a Reddit post about this thread. About this, this, this article that Owen wrote. And a lot of the posts... A lot of the posts started with... I don't play at that level, but, and then they would give their opinion. Well, that opinion doesn't count, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry that, 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 that that's that mean for me to say, but it doesn't, it's not applicable in this situation. Um, it's not, well, it, sort of, I mean, it's good that you have that opinion, and it's good that you feel like that, and you know, maybe we should make it known to the judges, but if you don't play at that level of, of, of magic, then how can you comment on whether or not that should have happened? You don't play at that level, right? It, it, a good example that someone gave was, um, if you are playing backyard football, right? If you're playing backyard football, you 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 don't have you don't have somebody standing on the line watching for offsides, right? Or 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 making sure that you're not blocked into the back, right? You just kind of play by your backward backyard football rules, and and there and you try and follow the norm, kind of like the general rules of the of football, but it's not to the same degree that the NFL has played. Well, the NFL has I don't know how many referees watching the game and throwing flags and you know doing everything they have to do. I'm talking about American football, sorry. But the same is it's very very similar. I you know with with European with the rest of the world football, soccer, um, and basketball. But if you're playing like a sport in your backyard or in the park, it, it's not the same. It's not the same as if you're in the professional world there playing that sport. And can you imagine how foolish you would sound? If you saw a ruling happen, right, in a football game or in a or in a or in a basketball game or in a baseball game or whatever you play, and then you went on to that that thread or that forum post and you said, "Well, I don't play at the NFL level, but in my backyard, we think that's pretty lame." It, it, it doesn't work like that, right? It doesn't work like that. We need constructive criticism, and we need it in the scope or in the context of competitive tournament playing. Now. Maybe the rule is dumb. It, some of it probably is. But let me just give you an idea of why it's where it is, at least. And I, I actually prefer it like this. The reason is because before, you would both get a, get a penalty if, one, if, if like your opponent missed their trigger. So you as an opponent have to remind your opponent of their triggers at all times. And it turned into this thing where you were basically playing the game for them. Um, and that sounds silly, but it's 100% true. It sounds like I'm blowing out of proportion, and I'm not. This is really what happens all the time. Especially back in, like, the days of Cobblade, um, and even Delver to a degree. Um, with the Shrine, Shrine of Burning Rage, was a big one, right? The other mono red players would forget to put counters on their Shrine of Burning Rage. And you're the Cobblade player, and that thing is going to kill you. And, you're, and they go, like, they go untap, upkeep, I'll draw my card, and then you got to go, you forgot to put a counter on your... And they're like, oh, it's all right, put a counter. And then they go, all right, I'll play cough, and uh, I'll activate my mountain. And then you're like, you forgot to you forgot to put a counter on your on your on your on your shrine again. And they're like, oh yeah, sorry, it goes to five. All right, and then I'll do this, and then I'll lightning bolt you. And you're like, all right, and then they say go, and you're like, dude, you forgot you forgot your you forgot your counter again. You can't ever stop that though. You can't ever say if you forget your counter, you forget it. And then the cobbler pair would lose, and it felt like they were beating themselves, right? Like 
and so that was that was one of the big causes for the change is that you they didn't want you to play your opponent's deck for them. Your opponent is expected to know his cards well. Now this means now some people will, put, will argue, okay, if you're if you're expected to know your cards, obviously this player is only playing Pyre Heart Wolf because of the ability that it gets. And that's probably true. But the rule says you have to announce your triggers with demonstrate awareness of them. You can't just defend why it's in your deck. Now, even more than that, at the Grand Prix, the judge announced, the head judge announced, you have to announce all of your triggers. All of them. The player didn't announce his trigger. The end. He posted on Reddit. He said, you know, I learned my lesson. It kind of sucked, but but okay, I, I forgot the trigger. Right? And that should have been where it ended. And instead, people are just like crucifying Owen, and then they're going on this Jackie Lee thing, which is like not the same. And... Anyway, so that's the idea, guys. So, I'm, and th this video, I guess, is more geared towards more competitive level players than it is towards the casual players. But casual players learn from this, right? This is one of the parts of Magic that's tough to, to get used to if you're not used to it, but it makes the game great. Because how many of you have ever played against an opponent, or maybe you are that person, and if you are, maybe get over this and fix it, who it doesn't communicate with you? They just draw, and they're like, uh, uh, uh. And you're sitting there like, what? and then they say something like, there you go. and you're like, what? Is this, is that, you say go? And they're like, no, I said I'll play my snow forest. And you're like, oh, oh. okay. And then they're like, where did I go? What? Did you say go now? No, I said I'm attacking. Okay, well, be clear. Tell me what's going on, right? Like, the communication is key, is key in high-level events. It's key. In all events it is, but especially in the like Grand Prix and PTQs and the Pro Tour and stuff like that. Having great communication with your opponent is, is, is critical to being able to play your match. And, and this, 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 this uh, triggers thing, it might be a little bit too far, but I don't know how to pull it back. Because they can't say, you have to announce all your triggers except for Pirate Heart. Well, that one's okay. Right? You, you can't do that. All your triggers. Announce them or you don't get them. And that's how I feel about that. And I'm sorry if that sounded a little bit harsh. I was getting very frustrated. Um, so many people calling him a scumbag and so many people saying he's a dirtbag or he's a douchebag or a lot of bags. Um, and just saying things that, 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 that just didn't apply and didn't matter and weren't relevant to what was happening. So if moral of the story is, announce your triggers. Now, oh, this is the last thing. This is only at competitive and professional rules enforcement level tournaments. At FM, this does not apply. It does not apply. I saw some posts in that thread saying, yeah, dude, I had that happen to me at FNM once where this guy said I didn't get this trigger and it sucked. It doesn't, it's not the same. You get your trigger. You always get your trigger at FNM because it's FNM. You're there to have fun and you're here to learn. Now, at a Grand Prix, you're not there to learn the rules anymore. You're expected to understand them and to know them. Now, if it's your first Grand Prix, read up. Watch my videos. Get better. But um, that's all I have for you guys. I love you so much. I think I'm going to put out a video almost every single night this week because I'm going to talk about my decks and I'm going to bring the Star City Open and how I'm so excited and prepared. And uh, that's the end of it. I love you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Have a good night.